What we are offering is a system for data quality management. We are focusing entirely on the quality of the data, and that's meteorological or oceanographic and atmospheric data. Um, and uh, what we, the gap we are filling out is that a lot of the data that are used today uh, are in poor quality, partly based on uh, the instrument uh, that is gathering the data or the conditions under which they are gather gathered. And our system uh, enables people that are working using these data for uh, both forecasts and analysis to uh, qualify these data in a much more efficient way than otherwise can be done. And basically, uh, we, by doing that, we will also make these data more useful uh, for both the scientific world and the industry. Uh, and that's also one of the taglines we are using, that uh, data called the systems make uh, MetOcean data useful. And can you explain a bit more about how this data um, can be made more usable? Because clearly there's so much um, information coming into the guess laptops and computers of scientists and governments at the moment it is hard to quantify and to to work out what's important and what's not but how are you making this more easy first of all that we we, we uh, embrace the whole process of uh, of uh, data gathering we first of all look at the standards that are developed by organizations like WMO uh, then we are focusing on the instrument providers and uh, the quality and, and the, uh, the, uh, the parameters and, and how these instrument, instruments are deployed and where they are deployed, how the stations are uh, equipped and where they are. Then we look at uh, how, uh, uh, how, how uh, the maintenance programs uh, are done and maintained. Uh, and then, of course, also we look at the actual raw data that is generated by seconds or minutes on our daily basis. And, and all this information we, uh, we, uh, we can embrace in our system. And then we apply operations, or, or usually it's, it's, uh, it's algorithms that are applied in order to qualify uh, the data, the raw data set, so that it meets the quality requirement that the data user have have specified and it's important to to uh, keep in mind that uh, da different data users have different uh, quality requirements uh, but as we have seen in this conference there is a strong uh, request for more data sharing for better quality of the data that is gathered around the world and we believe that our system can uh, provide both uh, governments and institutions a tool uh, where you, in an efficient manner, can obtain much better quality uh, than you have today and uh, with uh, less effort than you do today and but, uh, considerably less effort if you should have a better quality than you have today. And uh, most of all, we can ensure uh, transparency so you can see what has been done throughout the process right from uh, when the instruments have been deployed and gathered have been uh, uh, or the observations have been taking place and, ga and data has been gathered and uh, and also whether the different standards that are relevant for the area have been uh, applied all that is transparent in our system can be uh, seen by those who uh, perhaps would criticize the quality of the data or the quality of the analysis that has that are made um, so, um, so so hopefully uh, this is this is a novel system we have introduced it to the market within the last two years so we hope that uh, that this is something that uh, that will uh, will be used in both the scientific and the industry environment.